Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, K registration. It's either 1992 or 93. I think it's actually a 93 one, this one. Um, Land Rover Defender 90, 200 TDI hardtop. Um, finished in the original red with a white roof. Um, we took this in, I think, May, June last year as uh, basically a non-runner. Uh, been used for off-roading and uh, have been um, broken somewhat, shall we say. Um, and we've just got it back from, uh, from the workshop where they've been through it mechanically uh, from top to bottom, new cam belt, um, well, new cam belt replacement, diesel pump, all sorts of new steering bits on it, brake bits, handbrake bits, everything. Um, came to quite a few quid, um, but it's now ready for more, uh, for more fun. Um, fitted with, I think it's either got a two or three inch lift kit on it, certainly a lift kit uh, with heavy duty springs and stuff. It's got poly bushes on it. It's got a matching set of four I think so I don't think the spare looks like the same size. Um, Cumho Road Venture Mud Terrain tyres which size wise are LT285 75R16s so great big things on um, Weller uh, eight spoke rims. Uh, it's got checker plate on the modesty covers, swing tops and uh, rear quarters. It's got a front A bar, it's got a galvanised front bumper although that is um, rather bent um, what else do we have on there? Seat covers inside, it's a two-seater this one, centre cubby box. There is a stereo but it doesn't seem to be connected. Um, it's got tailgate mounted spare wheel and it's also got the um, adjustable tow bar but without the ball, if you know what I mean. Uh, you might have to get a, a ball from somewhere, I don't have a spare one of those I don't think. Um, but it has actually at least got the tow, the tow pack on there with electrics and stuff. Um, we went over it, say, mechanically, uh, and it's also just been re-MOT'd. We didn't bother doing the, um, the body work because I felt that most people are going to want to use it for uh, exactly as it's been used for already, i.e. off-roading and stuff. So um, we didn't bother doing the wings and stuff and the bumper. So it does look uh, um, looks ready for action, shall we say, but you're not going to spoil it, I guess, by taking it off-roading. Um, so anyway, let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. We've talked about the, um, the bent front bumper. Um, obviously both wing front corners are a bit pushed in, this one especially. Um, it's a bit sort of, you know, dented and torn and twisted and stuff, as is the, um, um, and the, the plastic surround for the light unit is broken. We've just replaced the, the side lights and the indicator lights on it as, as well. Big dent in the top of the wing just there. Um, but, you know, it's, it's one that's ready for off-roading really, so um, most people are going to end up doing exactly the same thing again. The rest of the wing's actually pretty good. Uh, a few minor marks in it here and there. The paint on it looks to be completely original in fairness. Um, and what have we got up here on the scuttle? We've got a small hole in the scuttle just here underneath the, uh, the near side vent, about an inch across, uh, that's rusted through so you can probably expect some water's got down inside the scuttle and stuff. Um, and there's a small hole just up here by the near side hinge, by the outer hinge on the near side here, uh, which you could put a rubber bung in in fairness, but um, uh, it's say about as big as a finger now from there. Otherwise it's just bubbling up a bit in the usual areas but it doesn't look as if it's been uh, got at before now shall we say. All looks pretty original there. Obviously a bit of um, paint loss on the hinge as always. Um, roof looks fine. Screen looks okay. Near side door there's the usual electrolytic reaction along here and along the bottom edge. Um, we'll come back to the rest of the door in a minute. Inside here it's serviceable shall we say. It's been used for off-roading so uh, it is a bit grubby. Uh, if you want to valet it, then uh, go ahead. But um, it's got seat covers on the seats. I think really because the, the passenger seat is very worn in the, the the seat cushion is very worn in the inner corner here. But the rest of them seem to be okay. The backrests and the driver's seat uh, cushion. Uh, but it has got covers on there just for, I think for this uh, this base here. Um, easy clean interior. So it's got all the rubber mats, so you can just wash it out. Um, near side door. Some surface rust along the bottom edge, but there's no holes really that I can feel. I'm just sort of starting to bubble up a little bit. And the same on the back end, just sort of getting a little bit soft on the corner. But it's got years of life left in it yet. A little bit of movement in the hinge pins, but not much. And uh, shuts reasonably well. As I say, it might be um, bubbling up a bit, but I think it's got years of life left in it yet. Um, this side, van side is fine. There's a longer scratch along there. I don't know I'm bothering talking about the scratches really, because... Uh, what no doubt most people would use it for. Um, near side rear wing is fine, there's a slight dink in the barrel side just there. Um, I also say it's got poly bush suspension on it as well. 
I mentioned that? I can't remember. Um, cross members all uh, looking pretty good. We did have to put a couple of patches on the chassis for its MOT, but no more than that. Um, tailgate, there's a lot of electrolytic reaction on the bottom edge, and a little bit around the lock and stuff, but uh, in the back here, again, it's a bit grubby, but um, no more do you expect. My bag and the trade plates and obviously don't come with it. But it has got its door card on the rear thing. Um, tailgate actually feels fairly solid. Again, just a bit of surface rust here and there. And there's no real movement in the hinges. Shuts well enough. Looking down the offside, we've got a, a sort of a denty depression just there, which doesn't seem to have broken the paint, just in the offside rear wing just there. Um, otherwise, the van side looks pretty good. There's a few sort of hedge scratches and stuff on it here and there, but you'd expect that. Um, offside door, not too bad actually, reaction-wise and stuff. Very, very much less than the near side. A couple of sort of pinhole dinks in it here and there. And we'll come back to the inside of that in a minute. Offside scuttle corner looks fine, really nice actually. Nothing amiss with that at all. Um, just say, so just the near side, just going a bit. Um, offside front wing, slight depression along there. And obviously the, the front of the offside front wing is, um, is dented and pushed in and a bit misshapen, but um, that's what you get. Inside here, all looks reasonable. Um, driver's door actually feels Mark will be good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's not a replacement door actually, although uh, it's very, very good indeed, the driver's door. May have had another door on it at some point, though the paint matches it is identical. So I don't know, perhaps it just hasn't rusted. Um, that's about it really. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can normally certainly deliver it anyway, like in the country. I'm struggling to drive at the minute because I've, um, I've broken my neck about two months ago. Um, so I can't really do a lot of driving, but uh, I'm sure we could put it on a transport if needs be. Certainly, um, you know, Europe and anywhere else in the world, we just pop it on a ship or whatever. So. Oh, it's also got um, diff protection front and rear on it by the look of it, just to add to that. Uh, that's about it. End.